Hi, I'm Tony. Welcome to Sports Bike Shop's video about the City Vertigo 2 boots. If you've been riding for quite a while, then these boots will possibly look familiar. City's Vertigo 2 boots can trace their lineage back to the massively popular City Vertebra boots. If you were riding bikes in the late 90s and early 2000s, then you should know just how common a sight and sound those boots were. The vertebras had a spine-like structure up the Achilles tendon section that made them resist lateral flex while allowing the foot to hinge up and down at the ankle. They were everywhere back in the day and you couldn't visit a bike meet without hearing the legendary squeaking from the plastic vertebra braces. They were eventually replaced by the Vertigo boots and these are the second generation of that replacement model. They still have the plastic bracing down the back and they still bear more than a passing resemblance to those famous old vertebra boots, but nowadays they do a little bit more besides. The bracing around the top of the boot acts to stop that lateral flex like it did on the old boots, but it also now acts as a fit adjuster for riders with different calf sizes. Pulling the adjustment ring out from this tab here and twisting it in a clockwise direction allows this plastic lace to pull the calf section tight around the rider's calf. To release that tension, squeezing these two tabs allows that brace to be pulled back and create more space around the calf. It's noticeable from the customer reviews for the Vertigo 2 boots that this system is effective for riders who have wide calves. There are plenty of favourable comments from people who usually struggle in that way when it comes to boots, but that the Vertigo 2s have resolved their issue. There's further protection on these boots around the heel, which has a removable shock absorbing cup. And there are also hard protectors at the shins and at the toes. The gear change protector saves the upper from being damaged while shifting gear and toe sliders have recessed screws. So you should be able to get the screws out before the heads are worn away. There are air vents on the outside of each boot. Sliding this red tab up and down allows air to flow through perforations in the outer to cool things down slightly on the inside. The boots fasten with an age old system of a long zip with a Velcro flap above it. And there's also a small expansion area just here that allows a little bit of extra flex when zipping them up. The Vertigo sole is very stiff and that fits with the sporty style of riding. I wore these for a couple of hundred miles on a Suzuki GSX-R 1000R and I got very good feel through the bike's foot pegs, which is important on a sports bike like that. But they're not all about the riding. The customer reviews note that these Vertigo 2s are actually pretty good when you want to spend some time just wandering around. Protection levels are good too. The label inside shows that they pass the most recent CE safety test and that they meet the higher level two in all four categories. As a full height boot, they automatically get level two in that regard, but they also take the higher pass in the technical tests for resisting abrasion, cuts, and crushing forces. These are sporty boots for summer use, so there's no waterproof lining inside. I found these boots comfortable and reassuring when I wore them, which bears out the feelings of the owners who've left reviews. Of the 29 reviewers so far, 27 of them have given these boots the maximum five stars. People praise their adjustability and their comfort, but as is the case with virtually every pair of boots available, some reviewers suggest buying a size bigger than normal. My opinion on that is that you should only consider it if you have particularly wide feet or chunky calves. I wore my normal size and had so much room inside that briefly I considered trying a size smaller, let alone a size bigger. Overall, the City Vertigo boots are a worthy modern day replacement for their ancestors, the Vertebra. At £259.99, they're not exactly budget boots, but the construction quality is high and they're also made in Italy, which will always mean the costs are higher than boots made in developing countries. I hope that tells you everything you wanted to know about the City Vertigo 2 boots. But if there is anything you'd like to ask or to add, then please pop a comment below. Thanks for watching.